This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a Packlock Model 200A Aluminum Bodied Padlock. This was sent to me by DarkSim905, who wanted to see how this would fare against a RAM set strike. And we'll get to that in the next couple of days, but first, I wanted to see what it would take to pick this lock open. Now, as you can see by the engraving, this was originally sent by Packlock to Tool, the open organization of lock pickers, for use in lock sport events. I think this is a generous way to support the lock sport community and also a great way for a lock company to go to the world and say, hey, as far as pick resistance goes, we think we're at the head of the class. But we're going to test that right now. So let's get some tension in here. I'm going to use top of the body, top of the keyway tension with a 50 thousandths pry bar and a standard hook in 18 thousandths. Okay, one is loose, so is two. Little click out of three. Four is loose, five is loose, six is binding. Got a click there. Back to the beginning. One, got a click out of one, that's it. Two is binding now. Got a click there. I think we can get a little more out of him. There we go, he feels set. Nothing on three, four, five is binding tightly. Some counter rotation. Got him set. Nothing on six, back to the beginning, nothing on one. Two is binding. Got one click, a little bit more, and we have it open. Now we need to leave this unlocked because I do not have a key for this. Now DarkSim did originally send a key to me, but the person who brought it to me couldn't find it and I was in a hurry, so I told him not to worry about it since we'd be destroying this lock anyway. So let's take this guy apart and we'll see what's inside. This comes apart with an Allen screw right down the shackle hole. Once we get that out, the security nut will come out, then the retainer plate and the core. Okay, we'll need a clip remover to get this clip off the back. And I'm actually going to put something in the keyway here so I don't accidentally lock this while removing the clip. That went flying. Thankfully, I have a few more in my pinning kit. Hopefully, I'll replace that. Okay, let's dump all these key pins out. One is serrated, two is standard, three is serrated as well, four is serrated, five is standard, and six is serrated. Now it's interesting, number three has only one serration on it while the other serrated key pins have two serrations. I wonder if that's a manufacturing error. And then the two of the shorter ones, the key pins in slots two and five have no serrations. It's probably because those key pins are too short for any serrations to come into play. Okay, driver pin number one is a spool. And in a recent pack lock video featuring the block lock, Greg, the president of Packlock, posted a comment that the springs actually do have different tensions to them. So I'm going to be careful as I take these springs out and we'll take a closer look at them. Assuming that is the case, it's a very nice anti-bump feature. and probably helps with pick resistance as well. Okay, so far we have spool, serrated, spool, serrated, spool. And the spring on slot five doesn't seem to want to come out. There we go. And looks like we have an extra long standard pin in slot six. My guess would be that that is for bump resistance. So let me take a closer look at these. And let's see. 
Number two is definitely stronger than number one. It looks like we actually have just one spring that is stronger than all the others, the spring in slot number two. I'll give you a close look at that right now. Okay, first the key pins. You can see we have four serrated key pins in slots one, three, four, and six. It's a strange key pin in slot three. I think there might have been a manufacturing error there because there's usually two serrations on those key pins. And then we have the standard key pins in slots two and five. Probably no serrations there just because they're too short for any serrations to come into play. Then for the driver pins, we have spool pins in slots one, three, and five, serrated pins in slots two and four, and then an extra long standard pin in slot six. My guess is that's probably for bump resistance because adding a longer driver pin makes the spring tension on that chamber a little bit harder. Then looking at the springs very carefully, you can see one of the springs is a little bit thicker than the others. That's the spring in slot two. And just feeling it in my hand, it does feel like it has considerable additional pressure, which means that will resist bumping very, very well. Moving over to the core, you can see we have a horizontal oriented actuator, which means it cannot be bypassed. And then everything else looks pretty standard about this core. Okay, so that's all I have for you on this Packlock Model 200A. We'll get to introducing this to the RAM set pretty soon. But in the interim, if you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.